Malta's Roberta Metsola has been elected as the new president of the European Parliament. Vote. MPs in Strasbourg chose the Christian Democrat following the death of the widely respected socialist David Sassoli last week. Having received 458 votes out of the 616 cast, Metsola becomes the third woman to hold the post. Her election means women now hold three out of four of the biggest jobs within the EU. So... Metsola says she wants to focus on making the parliament more modern and efficient. Politics cannot boil down to winners and losers. It is about improving societies and lives, about service. And it is here that our European Parliament must truly be a leader. Ours is an institution that is unique in the world. We need to strengthen it. We cannot be afraid of reform. The next part of the mandate will see a window of opportunity to make our parliament more modern, more effective and more efficient. Joining me now from Brussels is our correspondent Shona Murray. Good evening, Shona. Good to see you. So, Metzola is known for being progressive on women's rights and LGBT issues, but is more conservative on abortion. What can we expect during her term? Well, Stefan, you know, it's one of those issues that tends to dominate, and it did dominate today with Roberta Metzola's first engagements with the press. We know in the past that she has voted against certain European Parliament motions which basically ascribe access to safe and legal abortion as a human right. She's from Malta, which shouldn't really matter, but it is a country, incidentally, that has the most restrictive abortion access in the world. It's essentially impossible to get an abortion in cases of rape, incest, even in cases where a woman's health is in danger. Uh, but today she said that, you know, she'll take on board the majority vote of the European Parliament, which is pro-choice and that she would represent the majority, that she wouldn't take a vote on it, but she would represent what MEPs are saying and voting in favour of. Take a listen to her interview with Euronews today. Well, I would like to thank my colleagues for the trust they have placed in me. I have worked with them on a number of issues for many years, whether as uh, on a committee level or as vice president of this parliament. And with me, they know that the position of the parliament is my position, as I've done also, for example, uh, in Poland on the abortion law there, when I presented that law to the Senate of Poland, I promoted the position because it was the position of the parliament. That is exactly what I will do throughout my mandate as president. On this issue, the position of the parliament is unambiguous and unequivocal, and that is also my position. So, Shona, more women in powerful EU institution positions, it shouldn't be notable, but it is, right? That is true. Historically, it has been acknowledged, really, that there's been a problem with diversity in the EU institutions, gender diversity, ethnic diversity. So, you know, Roberta Mazzola's uh, election is significant in that regard. She is the third female president of the European Parliament, but the first in 20 years. And she very much acknowledged that in her speech today. She said one of her priorities will be to ensure that it won't be another 20 years before a female is elected president of the European Parliament. She also talked about some of the women, uh, the trailblazers like Simone Weil, the first president, female president, who was also a Holocaust survivor and she also very poignantly talked about some of the women who didn't ever get representation or agency. Paulina Dembska, uh, a murdered 29-year-old Polish student who was in Malta and of course as you mentioned earlier at the start of the show Ashling Murphy, a 23-year-old musician and teacher from Ireland who was murdered last week and laid to rest today.